Good morning. Let me today have the session on NAC. NAC stands for National Assessment and Accreditation Council. It was set up in 1994 with the headquarter at Bangalore. It was set up as a part of New Education Policy 1986 and under Program of Action 1992 to ensure the quality standards in the institutions of higher learning. What is the purpose of NAC? NAC ensures SWOT analysis that is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats or SWOT strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and challenges. Better resources management, easy funding, new innovations and methods, new sense of identity and new direction of for working. Social sense is there because society recognizes that yes, the institution is doing something. Employee satisfaction is there. New interaction, new collaborations are there. Team separate, team working, collegiality is ensured. Who is eligible for NAC? The institution must be recognized by central government, state government. It can be deemed two batches must have graduated from the institution or the institution must have existence for the six years. Also, the institution can apply if approval from MHRD or UGC is sought. Institution must be within India. What type of institution are assessed? The institution can be autonomous, constituent, affiliated. What is reassessment? There are two terms. One is reassessment and one is reaccreditation. Reassessment if the institution is not satisfied by the NAG grading, and reaccreditation is for going next cycle of assessment. So after the cycle. One, that is for the first time, NAC assessment and aggregation is done. Then the institution goes for next cycle, cycle two, cycle three, and so on. And if after grading, the institution has some questions or some appeal, then institution go for reassessment after one year. It is mandatory that I say code and IC data is uploaded on the NAC portal. The process of assessment and accreditation involves three steps based on methodology and broad framework. First step is submitting institutional information quality assurance that is ICA or letter of intent and after this ICA is accepted, then SSR, that is self-study report, must be submitted. It means SSR must be handy and ready before ICA is prepared. Step 2 is data validation and verification, that is DVV. DVV is possible only if in the step 1, that is after submitting SSR, the students participate in SSS that is student satisfaction survey. If the second step that is DVV passes that is institution pre-qualifies by getting 30% of total marks that is if there are 1000 marks then 300 must be secured then the third step is processed that is on-site visit by the NAC peer team. The weightage for grading is two-third for quantitative data submitted through SSR with documentation and proofs and one-third is for quality assessment that is in the hands of NAC peer team. Now what is citizen satisfaction survey? For this data that is enrollment ID, roll number, year of entry, program such as BA, BSc, email ID, mobile numbers of the students must be submitted in the Excel sheet and 10% of the students must respond, must participate in the triple S that is student satisfaction survey 
for getting to the second step that is TVV. What are the units of assessment? Assessment unit can be university, it can be college or department. On what criterion the NAC assesses and accredits the institutions? There are seven criteria. One, curricular related. Second is teaching learning. Third is research innovation. Fourth is infrastructure and library. Fifth is student support service and progression. Sixth is governance, leadership, and seventh is institutional values and best practices. Weightage. So depending upon the type of institution, whether university, college, autonomous, or affiliated, weightage differs as here U stands for university, AU for affiliated, autonomous institution, and A for affiliated. So accordingly, weightage is for first criterion 150, 150, 100, and so on for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh criterion. And if we can see second criterion for the affiliated institutions, it carries heavy weightage that is 350. Now going to first criterion, it is further subdivided as planning of the syllabi part, academic flexibility, enrichment, feedback. Going to second criterion, it is further subdivided that diversity, learning process, quality, evaluation process, reforms, learning outcomes, and student satisfaction survey. Going by third criteria, further this criterion divided as resource mobilization, innovation system, publications, consultancies, extension activities, participation, collaborations. Going by next criteria that is infrastructure, that is library, infrastructure facility, maintenance. Next criteria is student support services, that is support services available, progression data, participation, and in activities and alumni engagement. Governance and leadership here, strategy of de development and deployment, faculty empowerment strategies, financial management, and internal quality assurance system of the institutions or colleges. Institutional values are and best practices, they, that is social responsibility, that is environmental practices, that is eco-friendly practices, related to all above mentioned criteria. Now, what is the grading scale? There is seven point scale starting from C, the lowest grade, that is the bracket is 1.5 to 2, and the highest one is A, that is 3.5 to 4. This is bracket, and for less than 1.5, there is or equal to 1.5, there is no grading and no grading or low grading means low funding, higher grading means more funding. The calculation sheet for grading is can be like this. They suppose this is criterion first and it is represented by X1. So sub criterion accordingly weightage multiplied by marks and we get total then adding all sub criterion and divided by weightage, we get this score for criterion 1. And so on, adding all criterion, we get the cumulative score or the grading outcome. Certificate is based on qualitative and quantitative aspects. And as reaccreditation process after cycle 1, we, the institution has to go for two, cycle three, four, etc. After cycle one, following is must one is IQAC and AQR submission, and then for cycle two process before six months, ICA submission. If there are grievances, then then they, there can be appeal in thirteen days, thirty days, with the fee payments. Fee payment mode is online and for ICA fee 
there is first step then second step for SSR fee and then third is for peer team visit fee so fee are given different for universities and colleges who reserves snack at the institution it is IQVC IQVC the internal quality assurance cell and objectives of IQVC to improve administrative and academic performance promoting quality enhancement and best ensuring best practices what are the strategies strategies are to ensure timely efficient and progressive performance ensuring equity and affordability in the programs optimization and integration of teaching learning methods and making evaluation process credible properly maintain allocate the student support services infra sharing research findings and networking within with other institution what are the functions of iqvc to develop the quality parameters create the student centric environment arranging feedback and to disseminate the information organizing workshops and seminars on quality aspects documentation acting as nodal agency on quality issues maintaining database developing quality culture preparing annual quality assurance reports what are the benefits benefits are clarity and focus in working quality culture coordination decision making power dynamism and documentation become possible what is the composition of IQVC IQVC comprises of chairman that is head of the institution few representative from administrative sections and three to eight teachers one member from the management one from the society students alumni one from industry and other stakeholders one teacher to act as coordinator who should be with IQVC person who have integrity who excel in different fields who devote time and who have earned respect in the society so conclusion let we awake and pledge together to produce the quality graduates or post graduates who are economically productive socially capable mentally developed spiritually elevated so that they can contribute to the nation's development and world peace thank you thank you all